Alright boys, me and Damon got the power back to the city, but we need to get that water up and running. I'd like to take a bath. Haven't had one since the vault blew up. We gotta head out down to Zyobola. <sighs> Talk to the chiefs in there. We stopped by close to it a minute ago, so it won't be that hard of a trek. We already know the way we need to go. Figured I'd bring you guys along, because, uh... It's one of the tribes of California. Who knows, maybe one of us actually came from that tribe. I think it's important that we all go up there to meet them ourselves. Alright, let's get walking. It's a long way to go to Zyabora. Come on, keep moving. It's a long way to go. Almost there, for you, actually. Out of the hollow points, save up the actual good rounds. This thing is a hand cannon. I didn't realize we landed on a Pandora, James Cameron's avatar. If she was green, she would die. Alright guys, let's enough of the jokes, let's get to the Smurf Village already. The golf cart. Jesus Christ, would it kill them to do some pruning on these bushes? Traveler? Why are you blue? I wish I could offer you more. Ever since the raiders took the highway, we've barely been scraping by. I could probably use a doctor's bag. I should see she takes caps. Still no leather belt. sell anything? Oh, there we go. Some tribal stuff. Spears. Tarantula chitin. Hmm. <gasps> Pleasure doing business. Nice hair. What do you think of this, Ben? What is it? 
Looks like we're part of the NCR now. Well, sort of. Thankfully, we're still free. The NCR has many spirits in one body, and too few of them agree. You'll find that our new allies will be just as quick to rob you blind as they will to force you to fight their wars. Well, that sounds their great. corporations are sniveling, greedy organizations. Their government is eager to expand their territory in order to tax tribes to death. Be wary of their kindness. While they build new roads on the paths of the old world, they make the same mistakes. Alright, let's get moving. Welcome to Ziabula, city of the Forgotten Gods. Home of the free California tribe. Come sit. What is this infection that's driving the tribals mad? It is the mind virus. An infection that robs the living of their soul and replaces it with that of a demon. The Demon King sends it to fester in our young. He seeks to destroy our kind so that he may reign free over the lands he wishes to possess. Uh, Demon King? Yes, the evil one, trapped in the prison of ten thousand horrors, to the east in the shadow of the Bear Mountain. He has ravaged these lands for many years, stealing our children, mothers, brothers. He leaves only pain in his wake, a fate worse than death. Our tribe now suffers here on the edge of the Great Divide. The end of our time between the old world and the new. But the Demon King, his reign cannot last in the face of defiant life. He must scorch the earth, leaving only barren wastes. Emptiness is his empire. What are you guys doing to stop the outbreak? We hold our lines at the canyon. We send hunters to kill the lost ones before they return to do us harm. We are searching for a champion, a hero of our own kin to rise, to slay the Demon King and his army of horrors. But we fear they may not come. We have turned off the water from our tribe's fountain in hopes that the virus will not spread and to get the attention of the Silver Man. Alright, let's talk about the situation here. As you wish. You may state your business here in Ziabula. We're actually here to deal with that water problem for you. This is possible, you see. But the magic is not of our tribe. The water's ghost has died and must be awakened. He no longer hears our cries at his altar, and the waters no longer flow. Those that drink are infected by the mind virus. We have water here that can be spared and carried on foot to your silver man. Or, if you have the thunder in your hands, Restore the ghost of the waters. The ghost? I'm guessing it's technology. Where is it? Indeed. The gods of lightning once lived in the veins of the down below. The ghost of the Rossman lives there in the walls. Rossman? As in Dr. Kevin Rossman? Yes, his ghost has given us the water for many years and teaches our young the ways of the old gods. Huh, imagine that. All right, point me in the right direction. The altar of the ghost is not far from here, around the bend from the canyon along the south wall of the Arroyo. Go now and see the ghost for yourself. Use the magic of thunder to restore the waters to us. And we will allow them to flow to your Silver Man City. Alright. Mm, yeah. I don't care about that. Not the night. When 
not carrying the water. What is that? What does it say? Miniature. Silver Monk miniature? I don't fucking care. A lot of stuff out here, man. I swear. there by caravan too. All right. <clears throat> Alrighty then, let's go. Speak to the water dog, as they say. All that. You can really get some fixing done now. Almost maxed out my repair. That's some good stuff. Very filling. stuff here. Rossman's ghost is here. Maybe it was a camp for the Wasteland Scouts. They were all over the Wasteland. stale down here.
Rossman's old plasma pistol. My legacy. <clears throat> Took a long time, but finally my hologram is complete. Praise Robo Jesus. In the event anything should happen to me, this hologram will be my final legacy in this ass backwards world of pseudoscience and maleficent pot. Maleficent false prophets. Pretty sure he meant the other prophets and not prophets. It's a spelling error. Come on, Rossman, you're a scientist. You should know how to spell a word properly. I hope the hologram proves useful to those who need it. If it can make their lives better in any way, then, th then that will be good enough for me. I only pray this place is safely hidden from the raiders. Funny. In the end, I'll continue to exist as a machine. Growing up, I'd always dreamed that what it would be like to be a robot. Now it's finally happening. In any event, if this should be my lasting memory, I'm pro I'm wondering if I should program a fuck you message for Boss Maxon, just in case you know what I'm saying. Rossman. Here, Damon. Hold on to this for me. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. There's some dynamite. I'm sure I can trust you with that. Looks Ooh, just like man. him. Genie is out of the bottle. Hot damn! This is a relief. Freedom! <laughs> Whoa! Hang on a minute. How long was I in there? <clears throat> Data check. Three days. That can't be right. I was uh. Oh, hold on. We have guests. Gotta get my mojo together. <clears throat> Greetings, warrior of the California tribe. I am the great techno wizard, Doctor Rossman. Ask me your question so that I may use science to reveal the wonders of the universe to you. Is he always this much of a nerd? <laughs> Jesus, Rossman. Behold, the power of science will... Wait, you're not a tribesman. Who the hell are you? Dr. Rossman. Yes, I am he. Well, his disembodied personality and magic blue smoke anyway. Now I'll ask again, who are you? <clears throat> it's... All right. I'm Devin. I'm... Well, I was one of your students in Vault 18. What is this? One of my students, huh? Well, this is a hologram emitter, and I am the ghost of Christmas past. Until you come up with a way to prove to me who you are, I'm not going to divulge any of my secrets. Here, look at my pit boy Enter this ID. 00024601. 2-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0
something I, the great Dr. Kevin Rossman, cooked up to help the local tribes. None of them understood technology, you see. They needed a water source for their tribe. Just so happened, the emitter was still here. Some guy in the wasteland named Bragg showed us this vault on the map, so we gave him a place to live back home for the services. Oh. Then we decided to help out the tribe. I tell the tribesmen something in a language they understand, and fix their clean water supply, if I can. Say, you know anything about this water situation? Bragg never did tell us how he knew about this place. He claimed he was from Idaho. Ah, Colonel Bragg. Colonel? Oh, hell, man, he's a wastelander. Ain't no Colonel. If we're being honest, he's just dirty. Not sure what he was doing with a water chip. You guys had no clue. You just let him into the vault and that was it. What do you mean? <clears throat> no, man. You didn't make it. Nobody did. I'm the... We're the only ones left. Processing. Please wait. You mean... I'm dead? Oh, man. I knew this would happen someday. But I always expected I'd be old and gray. And the vault? All the scouts? Damn it. I should have been there. I could have done something. Distracted them or... Ah, who am I kidding? I'm just a hologram. I can't even touch myself. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. This is all that's left. Four walls, a broken water line, and a slowly fading hologram. Shit. Don't worry. I got revenge for you. Bragg is dead. Twice, actually. What do you mean, twice? You mean that motherfucker who killed me came back from the dead like some kind of zombie? Something like that. Don't worry, he's definitely dead now. The vault exploded with him in it. You see, that last part is not making me feel any better. Damn. You should have just left me in that hard drive. I was happier. I don't want to know any more details. Not right now, anyway. Go on and tell me why you're here. Eh, that's everything. I'll see you around. All right, that sounds good. And hey, tell the tribes they can come and pay me a visit anytime. Playing science guy is about my only occupation. So it's nice to teach the locals about things they've never dreamed of. Stars being far away, the cells in your hands more numerous than grains of sand on a beach. Can you imagine learning that for the first time? Being that I'm dead, it's good to know that the light of knowledge can still shine on the world, even down here in the dark. Good luck to you, kid. Goodbye, Dr. Rossman. You've always been a great help. <clears throat> I am gonna miss him. everyone. These enclave bastards are going to pay for what they did to the vault. Yeah. While I'm here, actually, no, I don't think there's a workbench here. We'll have to do it when we get back to NCR territory. Excuse me, blue man group. Ooh, wait, give me that white horse now. ghost <laughs> what they say must be true the vaults are full of sorcery <clears throat> you have returned welcome back to Ziabula Chichinuga uh, the only thing about my tribe I was told as a kid we were called the Orion tribe hmm yeah 
Yes, we know of the Orion tribe. Of what they once were. They, like we, were exiles of the underground. You mean they were Vault 18 exiles? Yes, yes, but we dare not speak its name. We play the game in the California tribe to forget its place and numbers. Why do you forget, and how do you know about if it, it if everyone tries to erase their memory? Hmm, <clears throat> good knowing, you see. There is power in the knowing, and I am the chief. I wear the skull of the last, and the knowing is mine to give. Long ago, in the early days, the exiles of Vault 18 walked this land, seeking a home. They found many enemies and many greedy spirits in the dark. Some were tortured to gain knowledge of the underground city and its location. To spare their children, they never told them where it was. Those that knew, they played the game. The rules are that you must forget the name. To remember is to lose. This way, you cannot be tortured into telling. My friend Ben had a similar game he played. He lost his entire memory. Everything. You speak of Kurtz, of the California tribe. Yes, I remember him. He took up the forgetting fruit, and now he knows no truth. The game evolved into a sacrifice to the old gods. Their names and words are forgotten to us, and so too we forget those who pass through the veil. The world arising from the forgotten smoke of the old before. Kurtz now. He seeks in himself the truth, and finds a strength which was not there before. He left a boy. He returns a warrior. What about the Orion tribe, though? Who were they? They were a tribe, one of many named after the stars. They were taken by the Demon King, like many others. And you, their child, were taken in by the Ross Man. There is nothing left of the Orion now. Only you. There were only a few to begin with, and now they are none. It is a sad fate. You are alone. No one. I'm the last one left alive. Yes, there were others with you when you were taken by the Ross Man. But you were unique. You. My lost child, you are a Brelinor. The lost, the unsired, the progeny of dark secrets and magic beyond this realm. You think there are demons hiding nearby? Indeed, I do. I know that there are invisible demons lurking nearby, watching us speak. They remain still in the day. But at night, you can hear them whispering madness to themselves. Whispering about you. I will say no more. Take your smiles away, and do not provoke them. So... We're being followed by super mutants. What do they want with me, though? I think I should go. Yes, Braylenor. You will find your way. <clears throat> May the raven shadows flee at the gaze of your rising sun. Go now. The path ahead is long and winding. That's not... Settling at all? Well, Kira, looks like we don't have anyone left. Our tribes are all gone. It's just us now. What is it? Looks like we did it. The water's flowing and power's running. Yes. 
It was good to see my travel brothers once again, though I am ashamed none recognized me. We should report back to the general and see what rewards he has for us, and what we have to face next. All right, let's go. Right up. It's back to town, fellas. Of course, we could stop by uh, the workbench on the way home. Ugh. Come on. Why oh, you guys always got to crowd the gate? Hey, Carrie. I'll see you when you get back from your mission. I have to try to contact my ranger leaders by radio. Let's see here. Oh, turn the corner a bit too soon. Take these two coyote skins and turn them to a leather belt. There we go. And now, uh, what am I missing? and wonder glue. So if I get some other stuff, I can get a tactical harness. Wonder glue, scrap metal, electronics, and a fishing battery. Alright. I bet what's her name will have some. Take all of those. And some wonder glue. I think that's everything we needed. tactical harness on. Now I have a proper flashlight. Perfect. It'll be a lot easier to see at night now. This uh, 10, mil 10 millimeter submachine gun for a lot of money. Welcome, sir or madam. I'll get that 
choke. I'm not exactly ready to get rid of that. Uh... Uncaps. All right, there we go. Tighter spread. It's good to have light finally. I've been waiting forever to get a flashlight going. It was so dark that first night on the way over to Union City. Now I can see shit. I don't have a lot of money, but I kind of want to see what they're selling right now. Like oh, she might have gone to bed. at least stand to get paid. Power and water are back on. Well, looks like everything's in order. I was half expecting you to be at this for weeks, if not wind up dead. Glad I was wrong. With water and power sorted out, even temporarily, we can focus on bigger concerns. That stated, there's another mission underway. Captain Jameson is leading a squad of troopers to secure Fort Dagger Point. If you're interested, it's a high-risk mission, and they need another set of hands. Payout is 500 bucks on completion. How's it sound? Sounds excellent. What's the catch? <laughs> catch is that it's high risk. The survivalists are likely already on their way and have raiders stationed in the ruins. Old Fort Dagger Point looks like a hell of a hard place to fight. The terrain calls for a person of your finesse. Outside the box combat, so to speak. What can you tell me about it? Well, we don't know much about it, honestly. It's a blind spot in the NCR intelligence. We know that it used to be a military compound. That's about it. We've combed over our pre-war military records, and all documents related to Fort Dagger Point are shipping manifests. One way in, those gates. It's all marked classified. But we do know it has a vast store of old weapons technologies. If we can break Fort Dagger Point open, we can win this thing with the Raiders. All we have to do is hold on to it. Hmm. How do we get in? Right through the front door. We recently acquired an ancient pass key that unlocks the great gates. Talk to Senator Duville in his office. He has the key safely tucked away here in town. Hmm. What if the Raiders are waiting for us to open the fort? We have plans for that eventuality. You'll be going in first, taking out any and all Raider resistance as you go. After you're at the main gate, we're calling in an NCR Vertibird squad to park in the main area. It's old Enclave gear from the war, but it'll do. The Vertibird support and additional troop numbers will bolster your spearhead and take the fort. Raiders may counterattack, but we'll be ready. Hmm. What do we do once we're inside? Shopping spree! 
We're sending a herd of Brahmin along so you can go down the shelves with two arms and gather all the gear you can fit on a cow. Reinforce our position here at Union City with the acquired loot and we'll be the first threat to the Raiders. That'll tip the balance. That sounds fun. When NCR forces arrive later this week, we'll be able to launch a full-scale operation to prospect Dagger Point. Till then, this is our big hit. Say no more. I'm in on it. Good to hear. Talk to Senator DeVille. Then meet Captain Jameson in the main square. He's leading the caravan across the waste. Oh, right. By the way, this is the money that we owe you for this mission. Up front. We don't know what you're up against, so stock up. Good luck. Probably for the best we stock up. Man, they are always boxing in there. Come on! I kind of want to spend my cash. Let's crash for a minute, guys. Oh, they're still not here. It's a shame. I wanted to pick up some supplies. Like that? Oh, that's right. We need to talk to a senator before we leave. Fat bastard. So, Silverman sent you to ask me for something. What is it? You said there's a mercenary in the canteen with some kind of key to Fort Dagger Point. Ah, uh, yes, her. Another one of the General's grand schemes that cost the NCR a quarter of a million dollars. Anaya Rand is her name. I'd hardly Hi. call her a mercenary. She's barely even a bounty hunter. No one knows who she works for. But she did find the key to Fort Dagger Point. Several dozen special agents died in that process. Watch your back. What am I paying her with? I was told that she won't be bought. I don't trust people who can't be bought. You never know where their loyalties lie. But, and I wanted information. Something about a pre-war military organization called Project Brazil or something. It probably doesn't even exist. Tell her that Project America went up in smoke. Project Brazil is active. Project China, Denmark, and France are a thousand miles away. Whatever that means. If that fails, I'll give her this check for $1,200. Hang on a second. Anaya ran. Like the online sex check? What? Uh, nothing. Uh, Strange. It was probably an imposter. Don't be so easily fooled. If every pair of tits on the internet were genuine, we'd each have showgirls up to our ears in real life. You can make a computer say anything. Anyway, I should get going. Yes, you do. Carry on, then. I need to shut my mouth. Talking about embarrassing shit to senators. Like that? I wonder if this is that same Anai, though. I guess we're about to find out. So she was in the cantina, huh? that uh sudden quicksand I guess what the hell is going on here put your hands up okay whatever you say copper man oh you're that mutant bounty hunter your license is in the HQ There's a rule against carrying ordnance in this camp, let alone blowing up Main Street. There are channels for this kind of thing. What about this kid? They're packing a small arsenal. What? Halt, kid! <sighs> Check our guests here for any more surprises. I am so done with this place. Anaya ran, huh? Well, 
You're the special agent everyone is talking about. You look a little colorful for a standard NCR merc. I hate when white people have dreads. It's gross. You look pretty weird yourself. Mmm. <laughs> Never seen a mutant before. I like to leave a signature impact on my targets and their employers. It's good advertising for business. Who was that guy? Oh, him. A wanted criminal. A convict who escaped justice <laughs> once or twice before. The law called in his marker. I guess we can call this a case closed. I'm guessing you're not big on following the rules. What's your name? Look, I'm sure we could stand here all day and get a nice tan, but I have a bounty to report in. Can we get this over with? Anaya Rand. I think we met on that computer network before. Excuse me? On uh, second thought, I shouldn't talk to strangers. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. This is a good thing. We know each other. How often does that happen? Really? Are you sure you're the real deal and not some NCR hacker police detective out to tear out my heart? I take it that happens often? <laughs> More than you know. Come on over and have a drink with me. I'll wait inside until you're free. Well, today is going to be interesting. Where is that army going? Does it have a merchant? am I looking at? Ramen, okay. I was gonna say, it's too much bushes in the way, I couldn't really tell. Well, let's get that passcode and figure out who this chick is and how she was able to talk to me in the vault. Oh, I, I could sit down. All right. What did you want to talk about? So you're a knight. Nice to finally meet you face to face. You as well. I was worried when I heard the explosion that you were killed. I'm glad that's not the case. You're way more serious in person. You seem so nice online. Well, in person, I don't have to keep up the facade. I'm old, you see. I may not look it, but that's the case. I got catfished. I like to pretend <laughs> sometimes. Though, after you've looked like you're 18 for 200 years, acting your age gets a little... Disconcerting. You're 200 years old? Mm hmm. The dust give it away. <laughs> My face hasn't changed much. My body is the same as the day the bombs fell. But I'm afraid my mind has grown old despite me. How's that even possible? You're not a ghoul or a super mutant. Some secrets a girl has to keep to herself. Sorry. I'll have to get to know you better before I unleash the truth on you. So who's dark and spiky guy over there, huh? Friend of yours? Oh, this is Jerry. He's my lifelong partner in crime, or crime fighting anyway. Don't let the mask and raider gear fool you. He's a sweetheart. Doesn't say much, does he? Oh, he talks. Just not unless he has something important to say. So what were you doing on that 200-year-old NCR dating site anyway? I have my reasons. The NCR site was set up to catch my target here in Union City, but I also wanted to check up on Vault 18. Why? I'm a bounty hunter, you see, and my specialty is mutants. My target here is a special kind of monster that preys on men. I tracked her to a terminal being used on these NCR lines and, by accident, stumbled across an active Vault 18 port. I'm guessing you activated it a few minutes before I caught on, and I decided to act. I met you, and you let me know the vault was still there. So how'd you know about Vault 18 to begin with? I was supposed to be there when the bombs fell. Unfortunately, my father, Senator Skulls, and I never made it. We were in L.A. when the sirens called. We barely got out of the city before the coast was hit. When we neared the highway out here, we were caught in a car wreck, 
The bombs fell, and we headed into the mountains on foot. By the time we reached Vault 18, the doors were closed. I'm sorry. I don't normally talk about this. How did you survive the Great War? What was it like? We'll have to let that story go on for another time, sweet cheeks. Now, I know you have other objectives than probing me for age-old answers to life's riddles. How about you and I talk business? Jesus, well, that must have been a hell of a life. Oh, you get me drunk enough and I'll tell stories all night long. I have a million. But, I'm guessing you have other objectives than picking my brain for the sea. How about you- Alright, alright. So, I have this mission to Fort Dagger Point. You wanna tag along for the ride? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'd love to hear about all the stories I missed in Vault 18, but I kind of don't give out the assassination services for free. I'd like to keep our relationship casual, okay? Hey, think of it as a holiday business trip. See the country, bag some raiders. It's fun. <laughs> well, I guess that is a public service. These raiders are a serious problem out here after all. I guess I could do some charity work. I've been interested in Fort Dagger Point for a long time. Interested? What for? Oh no. It's just a passing curiosity. Nothing important. Yeah, I know that look, lady. What do you know? Hey, I'm just curious about all the robots and long forgotten treasures. Calm down. No secret plots at all. Nope. Okay, then. Let's go. Good. Just clear it with whiskey before we leave. I'll follow you there if he's clear. Avert your eyes. My stats were higher. No, they aren't that low. What do you need? Nothing from you. Just trying to get to the bartender. Welcome to the Ram Shack. We've got spirits aged over 200 years. <laughs> uh, at least they used to say that made it taste better. Uh, what can I do for you? Let me see your beer. Here. Honestly, I don't want to wear the backpack anymore. I don't like it. And I don't really need the weight. Welcome, sir or madam. I've got a lot of money now. I can afford some cool stuff. I wonder what I could buy to repair the trail carbine. Probably this. I 
my money's worth. Damn it. Of course I can use the fucking... What in the goddamn... This is a fucking mare's leg. Damon, hold on to these for now. Once I get Jerry regular, it'll work. 